same can be said about servers. A lot of publishers have said ser um I just wanted to walk up a hill. A lot of um game companies have turned around and said, Well, you've gotta, you know, get an online pass because if you don't get an online pass then we can't afford to run the servers but most servers nowadays they are not run through um these online passes they're not paid for via online passes they are recycled servers they are servers that have been shut down and they are um the servers that have been shut down to make room for the next gen generation of vid video games that's that's just how it works now so when they turn around and say hey you should buy this game new for the online pass because it's keeping our servers up and running it's kind of not you know it, the information is out there i'm sure if you googled any of the things i say in this video you will find something to back it You'll find some conclusive evidence that I'm not just pulling out my... I wish I could put all the links in, but I can't right now. Okay, I've had a bit of a hectic week, and as this series goes on, I will do my best to put as many links in my descriptions as physically possible. But for, for now, you're just going to have to do your own digging, I'm afraid. Once again, I'm going to pick on EA and say the whole game is a whiner's argument. That's once again filling us full of false information. You know, if we complain about a game like gamers did in with their Mass Effect 3 game and even um, oh, what was the other one? Mass Effect 3 and Ninja Theory did with the new Devil May Cry. They called their potential customers or fans whiners because they complained about the product. After, in, in the case of EA with Mass Effect 3, after they had bought the product and invested many hours in the product, they were called whiners and plainers, uh, potential fans of Devil May Cry. They were instantly off, but me included, because of the attitudes of the development team, calling people, just out and out calling people whiners, call, calling people names and saying they're all butthurt. And I, you've all read the stuff before, not shutting up about Dante's hair and stuff and This is just feeding uh, feeding people information. You know, eventually, people are going to say, well, you know, he's got a point. You are whining. But that, dis that once again, distracts from anything else that the product may entail. And probably the worst is calling gamers fans right off the bat it's assuming that the potential customers are all fans of this of a series you're not bringing in any new customers and it kind of covers the back to if the if 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 a game flops then they say oh it's it's just fans complaining because it hasn't met their overly high standards but that's not really the case you can't if someone's a fan, you can't treat them any less than someone who isn't. Because at the end of the day, if a fan is upset, as they say, they're still a customer, they're still a paying customer. If I'm unsatisfied with a product, I have the legal right to complain about it if I've bought it. If I buy a book and I dislike the book, I have the right to complain. If I, for instance, go see a movie once again, I have the right to complain if I don't like it. If I buy a car, 
I have the right to complain if, you know, the car was not to my standards. Customers have the right to complain. And by feeding the information that gamers are all fans, not customers, it gives the idea that we're not allowed to complain. But we kind of are. It's our right as a customer to complain if we're dissatisfied. Um, I've spoke briefly about pre-orders as well, haven't I? So that's that's once again, yeah, another big thing. But I'll I'll mention it again because at the end of the day, you're buying a product that you've never saw ever. You haven't played. No one has played. And you're going off the word of mouth of what is potentially strangers to buy their product. Why? Because shiny things. And we're promised shiny things in a shiny game. But it's not always shiny. I mean, we saw that with... I'm going to throw in another example and everyone knows. Everyone who knows me knows that I cannot stand Dead Island. And it's for that exact reason. It was unpolished and buggy on release, but its marketing campaign was brilliant. And people were just told, pre-order, you'll get some stuff in the future. You'll get free stuff before anyone else does. And isn't that awesome? But the reality was a slapdash game. And it just wasn't, it wasn't right. It's not right. You know? So. You can. And you may kind of be. Thinking right now. What does this have to do with this Paolo Freer guy? Well all of this. All what I've mentioned. Are examples of a banking system. Within video games. They give you. In, they give their input into the game is the marketing campaign, primarily in the game industry now. I'm not saying all games, but most of the major titles that come out now, it is. All the information isn't really about the game. It's usually just about, you know, shiny things. Pre-order now, um... Day one DLC, all that stuff, and it's, this isn't what games are about. Games are about sitting down and, you know, enjoying yourself and having a good time. And it's kind of ironic that I'm playing this game right now because this is, this game did have pre-orders and it does have a means of buying things within the game in a marketplace but it's set up in a way that it's not you know terrible it's not there to punish you if you don't do it like most games are now and it's kind of sad that the industry's kind of reached this point that we cannot do anything. We 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 can't go out and buy a game on the merits of being a with being a good game without the thought of missing out on an aspect of it, whether that's the shiny or being able to actually play with your friends without a little code on the back of the box you know and once again I'm going to link Paolo Freer back into this by making a few quotes and I'm going to heal up first because I'm low on health yeah this is live by the way I'm trying to structure my thoughts and play a game and sits kind of kind of tough and I'm kind of on a clock as well because I'm watching the clock and 
it's taken down and this patch is coming ever closer so I'm going to kick it off the server I think now these are all quotes from Paolo Freer washing one's hands of a conflict between the powerful and the powerless means to side with the powerful not to be neutral so if you think you can just sit back and say well I can just not pick a side in this I can just go well you know the game in, the games industry is always going to be like this now may as well just accept it um, I'm not going to turn around and go hey this is wrong but I'm just going to keep my mouth shut I'm just going to keep my mouth shut I'm not going to raise awareness or anything I'm just going to say hey that's it just or just sit there silently and not do anything but not complain about it either you know that's that's not the way to go about this we've we've all got to we've all got to kind of chip in here and make sure that everyone's doing their bit whether it's making a video like this putting up a poll on a forum or just out and out saying to game companies I've had enough I'm not gonna buy your product anymore if you keep treating me like a second-class citizen because it's not right now these companies won't listen to you at first but they because you're just one voice but the more people we get involved the more people who are like-minded and will kind of step up to these companies the more people there will be to the more likely they are they're going to actually listen because they're not going to listen to one voice they're not going to listen to two voices they're going to listen to a chorus they're going to listen to people who stand up and say I've had enough and if you don't believe me then I'm going to start speaking with my wallet and I'm just not going to buy any more of your products you know I've got my own mini boycotts over on this side and I'm sure some people watching this probably have their own some people aren't undecided on it but there comes a point where you just get sick of it and the best thing to do is just not let them win you got to fight this battle with your wallet whether you like it or not I'm afraid and if that means you miss out on say the latest game in a series then that just means you miss out on a game that's that's that the only people who's really missing out in the long run are the game companies because you can probably buy that game two years from now in a bargain bin for three pound another quote I'm going to link into this is where's that quote gone sorry I'm going from notes here the greatest humanistic and historical task of the oppressed is to liberate themselves which once again if we can do this, if we as gamers can stand up and say, hey, I'm not pre-ordering your product for a shiny that I have know nothing about, just because you've put up a little video, a little trailer that says, hey, this shiny's worth your money because it's shiny and it's nice and you like shiny things, right? By standing up and saying, no to that in a way you've just liberated yourself you've you've thrown off this theoretical shackle that the game industry has over you you know worst case scenario 
you'll miss out on play like an area where you'll miss out